Eşin yoru yöngen ismi de bağlı. Lekin o, bu yengen bana diken vaxtı da şu darıldam kapı getdi de başımda diken. Dep diken. Darıldam diken valla de başı yakınımız başımda diken. This is a kindergarten for Uyghurs, an ethnic minority from Xinjiang in China's far northwest. Dorms house toddlers behind barbed wire and surveillance cameras, including Abdurrahman, Adila, Muhammad, and Abdullah. Their mother, Mary Pet, hasn't seen them for over a year. <laughs> Mary Pet lives in exile with a remaining child, thousands of miles away in Turkey, one of many Uyghur parents parted from their kids amid a sweeping crackdown. In recent years, China has detained an estimated one million Muslims in indoctrination camps. Others have fled. The children they leave behind are forced into orphanages and boarding schools, where they're banned from speaking their native tongue. The Associated Press has found that since the beginning of last year, Xinjiang has been building or expanding nearly four dozen orphanages, enough to house 5,000 children. Uyghur parents say the orphanages are just one part of a vast campaign to assimilate their children. Jillab mana mana nisbatan 5 yildan buyon o'zining-ki hech bir farzandining ovozini manglab boqmaslik, o'ltirilishdimi vahshi qabihlik, o'zi hayot turib. Abdul Rahim Emin is a poet whose work angered the authorities. He fled to Turkey in 2014, leaving his family behind. A year later, Amin heard his wife was sentenced to seven years in prison after he sent her a gift of olive oil. Visitors from Xinjiang said two of his children were struck and killed by a police cruiser, that they knew nothing about another two, and that his eldest daughter was sent to a boarding school. The Associated Press worked with Amin to track down the location of his daughter's school. Satellite imagery shows that it was built in the past six years. Five or six dormitories sit behind barbed wire. Uyghurs speak a Turkic language, but a sign at the front gate tells students to speak only Mandarin on campus. It's only one of many boarding schools in town, all covered with propaganda, cameras, and anti-vehicle barricades. The government says it wants to educate and lift Uyghurs out of poverty. Uyghurs view the education system as one of the primary threats to their future as a society. Children are taught to respect their teachers more than their parents. So if their parents, you know, teach them about Islam, um, the the students, and children might question them and say, you know, this is backward. This is extremist. For decades, ethnic tensions have simmered between Uyghurs and China's Han majority. Tensions boiled over in a July 2009 riot, leaving hundreds dead in Xinjiang's capital. In response, the government poured billions of dollars into strict security measures, turning Xinjiang into perhaps the most surveilled region on Earth. Xinjiang for parents like Abdul Rahim and Mary Pet, the pain of their missing children is something they live with every day. Allah Allah,